create the vertical bar pleating pattern where we're not, we're even minimizing our risk. This is just solely giving us the particular signal based on analyzing a single vertical bar. But when you kick that down into the smaller time frames, and we're getting higher or lower vertical bar pleating pattern highs and lows, therefore we can reduce our risk even further. And there's absolutely no reasoning in my belief that we cannot take those trades, of course, because it doesn't matter what instrument or what forex pair or what index or what commodity you trade, and all of a sudden a bad news item out of the blue comes something that Andrew was telling you all about, something to look out for. But that can also, if it's really unexpected, can move a market very violently also. So therefore, providing any instrument, and something Andrew will advocate greatly, is that providing you've got your risk in control and you've got your risk in the right place. And I'm talking about strategic points. And this is a strategic point. If you are trading solely a single vertical bar, that low there, 129.60, is what we call a strategic point. Why is it strategic? We were really, if we were trading that based on an outside vertical bar on a weekly chart, remember, I know to the very one pip when we're wrong. If it breaks 129.60, it goes to 129.59, we are wrong. So therefore, on that, I know where my risk would be from my entry if I was just trading that particular chart solely. My entry, with my, my risk from my entry there to my low there. So therefore, if that's within the confines, and I'm not risking over and above what I should be, I can take the trade. Otherwise, as we will look at hopefully, you can still take a trade based on that analysis, but with it taking it on an intra-week or an intra-day basis, creating lower risk but taking it in the direction of the bigger time frame chart. Now, as I've already discussed, the weekly outside the weekly outside vertical bar has a bullish close, and as I've said and stated, our objective is to buy any weakness until such times as our objectives have been achieved, or that particular bar in this instance is broken to the downside. Now, putting the basic price action foundations together of what I call the vertical bar trading pattern, I call the secret pattern. Okay. Simplifies trading decisions and it takes our signals quite often to a different level. This is a unique pattern that is formed in all time frames, all traded instruments. Okay, and again, what are we looking for? The middle finger highs, the middle finger lows. Stocks, bonds, ETFs, commodities, everything across the board. And what this information gives us, it tells us the present trend of the instrument in that particular time frame. When that trend began, and when that trend has ended, or will end, trading the vertical bar trading patterns means you no longer have the challenge of not knowing the trend of an instrument in any particular time frame. Knowing this information, folks, you will be able to look at any chart, and you will be able to analyze, based on the time frame of that particular chart, what trend it is in. And remember, trading a trend is not just as simple as drawing a trend line, because if it's only the new trend, which is what we want to get into, we want to get into the new trend as early as possible. Okay, well, that be a short trend, well, that be a long trend, we want to get into that. And if that's only beginning, you do not know where to draw your trend line from. You're all aware of what an upward trending market is, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, sorry, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And then all of a sudden you see this here forming a lower high. If we have a lower high, then we should, if that trend should continue, we should be making lower lows. So what is the vertical bar trading pattern trend? It is more probably, more commonly known, rather I should say, as swing highs and swing lows. I call the vertical bar trading pattern simply because I have a very disciplined set of rules that determines when a vertical bar trading pattern top or bottom has been formed. Those of you that have been trading the markets can go into any chart, not on any time frame, and you can pick out highs and lows, swing highs, swing lows. But that is all after the event, everyone. We want to know what it is at the time of the event. We want to get in on that market as that new time frame 
or that new trend or rather is being is beginning. So let's take a look again at a few charts. And what I've done here, as was said to me in one of my presentations to Simon in one of the webinars, these zigzag lines, okay? <laughs> Maybe it was one of you in the room today that said the zigzag lines, but what they are is they are depicting when a confirmed middle finger high or middle finger low, middle finger high and low has been in place. And if I see that this high here is a lower high than this high, once that I know exactly, not down here, I know exactly when that has been confirmed, I'm taking a short signal. And again then I would know exactly if that's a lower high, that where's my stop folk? There. Strategically I would be wrong if it takes that high out. Because if I have taken a trade on a lower vertical bar trading pattern high, and this is across all time frames, and these are daily charts folks, I then know that I am wrong. So, if we look over here now, just stopped out of a trade that reversed trend earlier this week, and the trade, our signal came in at 23.541 on a daily chart, locking in 1,970 points of profit. Okay, and remember, this is not subjective. So if you're trading the exact same chart as I am, you would exactly have the exact same rules. Now, we're now short at 25.5. One, one, okay, and that was for our signal just trading. We can make it a little bit better, folks, by going into the smaller time frame charts. But let's take a look. FTSE cash market. Our last buy signal, folk, was at 69.50. The market went to 73.70. It's just come off, but we haven't got a confirmed signal, or we haven't. Maybe we have today, but we haven't, as I took this screenshot yesterday. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. DAX chart. Now, we're talking about different markets and correlating markets that correlate and non-correlating markets. You see the DAX showing weakness here that the FTSE hasn't done. Because the market facts came down, the DAX, not the facts. The DAX came down here and it broke 11,404 to the downside. And it done that last week. So therefore, what has it done? Now, we haven't got a confirmation of trend. All we have indicated here the Dow has confirmed its trend change. All the DAX has done, it has broken through a previous vertical bar trading pattern higher low. And if we make a higher low, I'm looking for the next retracement to give me a lower high than this high. And once I get that confirmed as a lower confirmed vertical bar trading pattern high, this is a daily chart, I'm short. Signal, exactly. So I'm not short as I speak to you, all right? So our signal, our last buy signal was 11.158, we're out at 11.404, say 400, okay? So, NASDAQ, exactly the same, although it's a little bit stronger than the Dow, because as last night, it had not confirmed a trend change. But look at our last buy signal, was it 6.785, folk, and it went up to underneath, what, 7.485, I think it was, something like that, on the NASDAQ. US dollar, Japanese yen. Look over here, with the flash crash, haven't we? Japanese yen. Daily charts. Look, we were short many, many days before the flash crash because it already indicated over here lower vertical bar trading pattern highs. Days. It was 750 points, just like falling off the cliff. But we were in it days beforehand. And it's like a bungee jump. If you fall off the cliff, folk, it's just going to bounce back. So if you ever see that happening in a market very, very quickly, don't be afraid of locking in profits. There's no saying you'll never go broke taking a profit, all right? You'll never go broke taking a profit providing you haven't got large losses, okay? Trading our methodology, knowing exactly when we are wrong, and trading the vertical bar trading pattern, you will have no need to have large losses, folk. All right, the system's there, the methodology's there, to tell you where your stop should be. Pound dollar, I said to you of an outside vertical bar to the upside, come back a few weeks ago. I've also got a higher vertical bar trading pattern, higher low on the daily chart. 129.60 is the higher low. The objective on this here yet is to take that 133.82 out to the upside. The only time it will fail, folk, if it doesn't achieve that 133.82, it will break, is when it breaks 129.60. And I know exactly when it breaks. And do you see any retracements in here? There are opportunities. The lower it gets to that there, the lower our risk. 
euro dollar. Again, variations, variations, variations. And then look what happened here. That there's a slightly higher high, vertical bar didn't have a high than this, and I would replace both. So all I'm looking for is if I get a higher low that is higher than this confirmed vertical bar pit and pattern down there, I would be going long. I have no trade in the euro dollar here at this minute in time as far as a daily chart is concerned. Now, now this exact same methodology, exact same pattern, sorry, you can trade in one minute charts and we're going to look at some of them, maybe in crude oil, five minute charts, daily charts, weekly, monthly, doesn't change. Just because we're trading the euro dollar compared to trading light crude oil and we're trading on a daily chart compared to trading on a one minute chart, the methodology is exactly the same. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, um, exactly the same folk. Um, we have a lower vertical bar trading pattern high and place. There's the signal there. We've had a retracement folk as far as the daily chart's concerned. And the only time that that there fails, that trend has changed if we take that high out to the upside. I don't know what the, the Swiss franc, Japanese yen is doing at this moment in time. You can check. Um, yeah, well, um, this is at 111.16. Yeah, so it's at 11107 at the minute, is it? 11101. Roughly. Well, it's went down, folk, to 110.85 today, right? And it's rough, so it hasn't, that we haven't, we haven't been negated. So therefore, as far as the daily chart's concerned, that's still in place. And we know exactly, and we know based on probabilities. It's a probability trade, folk. No holy grail, but probabilities. <clears throat> There's just roughly the trade history on those from 2019 on those few symbols, or, or, or instruments, symbols. Same difference. Excuse the pun. So we've roughly the maximum open pips that have been so far, maybe not today, but have been, has been 1,700 open that's left in the trades that are open. We have had one losing trade so far of 64 pips. All right, on all those instruments on the daily chart, we have a close profit of 2,404. Okay, that's as we speak. On the Dow, FTSE, NASDAQ, DAX, Euro dollar, dollar yen, pound dollar, Swiss franc yen. Okay, so we're only talking about four currencies there and a couple of indices. There's the four hour chart, or the one hour chart, exact same methodology folk. You see what we've got here? See when this market was starting to fall on the intraweek basis? Come back last week. There's nothing wrong with taking an intraweek trade because once we got a signal that was a lower vertical bar didn't have an high than this high, you can go short that market on a 60 minute chart. But here's what I want to draw your attention to at this minute in time. We have a low there of 131.58, which is a slightly lower low than this low. So therefore, what is that? It's a downtrend. Then what did we do exactly? We come back up and we've got a confirmed high here that is a higher high so that the cable, pound dollar, has changed trend. So therefore, providing I get a higher low of a 131.58, which I believe we have today, because I think earlier it was trading at 132.35. If you put on a 60 minute chart, please. 60 minute? Right, look, there's exactly the same, you can't see with this header, but you see this? bar, that is this bar here, right, the markets went up, now the markets came back off again, folk, and it's still, it's still trading at 132.05, so, we still, all we have got now at the minute is a higher vertical bar trading pattern low, and we may be setting up a lower vertical bar trading pattern high, okay, as far as the 60 minute chart, but look at that signal, that market went up to 132.50 earlier today, I believe. Okay? So we're now back down to an hour chart. But do you see what I mean? That market is making higher vertical bar trading pattern high and a higher low at that particular time. So we're now getting the 60 minute chart. We're now getting the daily chart. And we've got the weekly outside vertical bar from a few weeks back, all telling us that we should break 133.82 to the upside. Excuse me, can you put a trade on your knowledge? See where we head? Can you put a trade? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and do this here. We're gonna we'll, we'll try and look at the smaller time frames to see. So US dollar five minute chart yesterday.
just want to show you now that methodology exactly working the same. We've looked at daily charts. We've looked at 60 minute charts. There's the exact same trade yesterday morning, right? In here, a higher vertical bar trading pattern low. The buy signal was at 110.17. There's where we were stopped out, folks, because we have now a change of trend. That was a confirmed higher vertical bar trading pattern low at 110.54. Once it broke that low, we needed to be out of the market. We didn't know, we don't want to be living in hope. We want to be living very clearly in technicals. And we had 37 pips on that five minute chart yesterday on the dollar yen, okay? I hope you can see, folks, that using the positioning of the vertical bar trading pattern highs and lows, how it certainly would help you make good trading decisions, to say the least. So remember this, I just want to say this, I am not just a mentor and a teacher, I am a trader. Obviously not trading today, but most days when I'm in my office, I am trading folk. And exactly what I've showed you today is how I analyze my instruments that I'm looking to trade and the tools I confer my instruments with, okay? My price action trading methodology is available to learn by becoming a member of beawinningtrader.com. And that very much works hand in hand with the likes of Fineco here because what Fineco want to do, they want you as clients, but they do not want you as clients that are going to be here today and gone tomorrow. They want you to be successful. So they're not going to be making money out of you if you're not going to be successful. And for you to be successful, you need to be having a methodology, folk. Okay? If you can put the fundamentals that Andy was talking to with technicals, that's going to give you long activity and consistently profitable trades in the market. That's going to give longevity to Fineco, it's going to give longevity to you, and you're going to be able to achieve the success that you crave and desire. So as a, as a, as a member, just to go over very briefly, and I know we went on here quite a bit here for an hour, the complete rules you will get from my methodology as a member from beginning to end, the vertical bar trading pattern rules, money and risk management techniques, and learning how to use a multiple time frames to induce time to enhance time and risk. You see me looking at the daily charts. Remember the larger the time frame you trade folk, in general, the bigger the risk you're going to take on. But if you can use and use your analysis to take the signals, have a trading chart, so every each and every one of you, you have to determine what your trading chart is. Then use the charts around that from which you are taking guidance and be able to reduce your risk accordingly. And that's by using multiple time frame analysis. Okay? And that's how we do it. And plus other tools that help you in your trading decisions. To learn the complete methodology by beginning by members, videos on the members um, area of the website. We have live weekly trading rooms. My live room was yesterday, folk, when I was taking trades with our members, one o'clock to three o'clock yesterday, so more, sometimes a piece for the long open, etc. We have regular members only training webinars. We have a webinar now tomorrow evening, 7 p.m., for members only training. Unlimited email support, and my, it is the aim of all of you to be successful and be consistently profitable. And it's certainly my aim um, as the founder of BeaWinningTrader.com and you're personally mentored as a member by me, okay? Um, and the obviously, the advantage of being personally mentored is it means you can lift the phone, you can speak, Ian, I need to speak to you, I need to ask you a question, because everything's great, folk, when you are trading and you're watching videos and you're watching textbooks or you're reading, you know, this and that, and when you start onto the live market, sometimes the live market can fire up different scenarios, okay? So that is all in relation to learning the price action methodology. And there it is, be a winning trader, folk. So I would like to thank you. I hope you find that informative. I can assure you, you should use, and you can use, even the very basics to go forward with, okay? So thank you very much for listening. And um, maybe we're going to look at maybe some trade. I don't mind, yeah. If there's any questions, anybody in?